What's going on guys, Asian Guy here bringing you a video covering the Invasion Young Sengoku, both the Invasion Raid and the unit itself. So we will talk about the Invasion Raid after we've covered the unit. Thank you very much to a Taiwanese YouTuber known as Sugar. Link is in the description down below. 400 IQ team builder, I am telling you, maybe even Alex Kim's level to be able to come up with a team that fast. So I will explain all of that later on in the video, but please do go ahead and check them out because the gameplay is supply by them. Now Invasion Young Sengoku, a Psy Cerebral and Fighter type, not that Cerebral units need any more love, but they're going to get it anyway. He will boost the attack of Cerebral and Fighter units by 2.75 times, and if they are cost 30 or less, will boost a further 1.1 times. So not a great captain ability in this day and age, not bad for a free to play unit, but if you can farm this legend up, legend, if you can farm this invasion raid up, then you obviously most likely have a captain that is far superior to that. Now, his special ability is superb. One of the best for a free to play unit. He'll cut the HP of the target by 20% and this bypasses all barriers and defensive effects, which is superb, exactly like the Colosseum Lucy or Colosseum Luffy Lucy, I should say, the Dex one. So very, very good in that sense. Now this ability, when the crew has four or more orbs of the same color, treat that orbs color as beneficial and for three turns, boost orbs by two times. Three turns, two times orb boost, universal orb boost, can I mention as well. It's not specifically for Cerebral and Fighter, but for three turns. Three turns. This is such a good unit. If you have V2 Shanks, who I don't have, if you have White Bin and Marco, who I don't have, if you have Katakuri, who I also don't have, very, very good unit. And the one that I do have, 6 plus Judge, a very, very good unit for those teams. For example, 6 plus Judge makes your full board in, so you will get yourself a three times or boost, three times I wish, three turns of a two times or boost when you have 6 plus Judge's special ability prop. Now that is so good. It's so, so good. And of course, you have the 20% HP cut, which is so good that goes through barriers. We are now seeing bosses with 15 million HP, Invasion Sengoku included, 15 million HP on the final stage. Thank you very much, Bandai. And of course, Big Mum on the final stage is also 15 million HP. And guess what? They have barriers. Woohoo! They have 15 million HP and they have barriers. Absolutely wonderful. But as I said, guys, a very, very good free to play unit. Very good for cerebrals, very good for fighters. But of course, University is a solid, solid unit. If you have a unit that can manipulate the whole board of orbs into one color, that color will become beneficial for the whole team. So, very much designed for V2 Shank, 6 plus Judge. And I guess. To an extent, with that special ability that can bypass barriers, it will also work very well for the new Legend Garp. Now, a lot of people don't like Legend Garp as a captain. I can see why he's very tedious to play with. But if you're running double Legend Garp and you're also running this Invasion Sengoku as a sub, you're going to get 30%, then another 30%, then another 20% of HP cuts through barriers. And then, of course, the Garp himself has... Im barrier penetration as a limit break socket. So a fully stocked out, fully limit broken Legend Garp team with Invasion Sengoku as a sub is going to be very disgusting. Now, Legend Garp, not gonna bum him anymore. He already does clear Big Mum for us. That's the last bit I'm gonna say. Let's move on to the gameplay. Thank you once again to Sugar. Please do check out their description. Check out their link in the description down below. Again, the reason why this person is a 400 IQ team builder is because we only had around 15 or 20 minutes to actually go ahead and challenge both Pika and then follow it up with the Invasion Sengoku themselves. And then of course people are still trying to work out what this does, like what this piece of content actually does and it's disgusting. It's very, very, very hard. Prepare yourselves and I hope you enjoy it. I will commentate over it, but I will see you guys webcam out here. So see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day. My free legend pool is coming and it was a very good pool. Bye bye. Alrighty guys, now for the gameplay, courtesy of Sugar. please do go ahead and check out Sugar's channel. Only around 110 subs right now as of making the video, it'll be awesome to see them hitting those 200s, 300s. I know you guys can be super supportive at times, so please, I have my fingers crossed that you guys are going to drop them a sub because they are very good at team building. Just take a look at the portfolio on their channel. Now stage one, Sugar is going to be coming up with that V2 Akainu zombie team and you're going to start off with negatively matching ores or badly matching ores which are shuffled courtesy of the barrier mobs. Now the barrier mobs are not 
very, very nice if you are not running a zombie team. But with a zombie team, you can just easily break their barriers and let Time Skip Kid do the work. Or Coliseum Kid. Every time I say Time Skip Kid, guys, I mean Coliseum Kid. You can leave one barrier mob alive to stall on if you're going with a zombie team. Of course, with a Jinbei V2 team, you can also stall on this mob here but with a Jinbei v2 team you're probably going to have the boosted specials forever and then you're just going to be able to clap through the content easy peasy now on this stage you're going to be wanting to stall on the mob that heals itself the very fine lady in the top left hand corner which a lot of people do have you know the fantasy that they will have a legend version of her one day but that aside just stall on them overheal to the maximum and Anel is going to be the MVP from here on out because next up we are going to have a stage 3 with a mini boss Zephyr. Now Zephyr has 3 million HP and he will deal 8,000 damage each turn. Preemptively he will despair both captain for 5 turns and he will put immunity for himself on 99 plus turns so that's going to be like 999 turns and he will also shuffle your orbs from top to bottom. This might have just been coincidence for Sugar here but as you can see there Dex top row, quick middle row and then strength in the bottom row. I'm not sure if that's just coincidence, but I do believe that is what he's going to do, and I think that's probably so that for Jinbei V2 teams, you already have your orbs ready to go ahead and destroy Zephyr. So yeah, Zephyr has 3 million HP. I believe Sugar is just going to whittle this Zephyr down using a Kainu's passive. Only 3 hits, and he should die. And once again, 8,000 damage each turn, and he will boost his attack on the second turn. So I will see you guys when he moves ahead of the stage into stage 4, which is where things get very exciting. Alrighty, moving on to stage 4. This is where the majority of players who got to this stage just failed miserably and they got clapped. Most people were not able to even see Sengoku on the final stage, but they died at Sengoku and Young Garp. Now, Sengoku has 5 million HP here. Garp has 3 million. Sengoku will hit for 11,000 every single turn. Garp will hit for 12,000 every single turn. Very juicy values there. Sengoku will have a quick orb barrier that lasts for 99 turns and Garp will have a in orb barrier which lasts for 99 turns. Both of these will be popped just by using one orb. The top row and middle row slots will be binded by Garp every single turn and they will also put up a damage reduction buff so that's also very very lovely. Sugar here will just stall that out after killing Garp with the Anel and 6 plus Psy Law combination. Remember guys, because he has 5 million HP or around 5 million HP, Sengoku will die if you are max healed up already with this 6 plus and now. So if you haven't done your overhealing to the maximum, that's A-OK. -okay. Just enough to kill off Garp is more than enough because eventually you'll just be able to pop Sengoku's barrier and then just constantly whittle him down with the Akainu 1 million end of turn damage if you hit all your perfect. So that's very nice in itself and then after this you are going to be faced with the wonderful unit that is invasion raid sengoku young sengoku evolved form and he has 15 million hp god damn 15 million hp and he puts up poison immunity and delay immunity which lasts for 999 turns and then defense up for three turns now this defense up is at least 5 million defense because people have tried to pop him with a now special without using 6 plus law and they did one damage so he has at least 5 million defense in this form which is filthy so 15 million hp and hits for 15,200 damage every single turn if i'm not mistaken which is also very disgusting i look forward to seeing jinbei v2 teams go up against this i think legend garp can beat this as well so i look forward to the kind of teams that we're gonna see against this now after his defense up expires he will put up a threshold barrier for 1000 damage so any damage that surpasses 1000 damage will be reduced by 99 percent so he is not an easy piece of content you let me know guys is this worse than big mom forest i personally think it is i haven't been able to beat both of them yet i do think i have the units that can take on big mom forest but as you guys know i haven't even done capone forest i'm just very very lazy to do forest until they become like necessary content now as you can see there time skip coliseum kid again coming in clutch because he does do 1 million damage because of the the threshold not the threshold because of the color affinity that he has 
in favor of him being a dex unit and sengoku being a quick unit so there you have it guys jinbei v2 can kill this as well i'm gonna skip ahead to when garp or not garp keep getting and consume when invasion sengoku is made into down to around 20 percent hp and you get to see how terrible his special actually looks so i'll see you in a moment Alrighty guys, you get to see the best special animation in the game. It is young Sengoku. Now this part looks quite cool. He's got a bit of swagger here. That looks cool and that, that has to be the lamest punch. That actually has to be the lamest punch I have ever seen. We don't actually know how much damage that does. You can expect it probably does a ton that is just going to instantly kill you. Just like Invasion Garp does. But there you have it guys, so Sugar was able to clear it, amazing amazing team to come up with that on the fly when you only have like 30 minutes to do it and you don't even know you only have 30 minutes, it's bugged, you didn't know it was going to happen and you see very briefly other people go into it and then you come up with this team on the fly, very impressive team building, drop Sugar that sub, drop Sugar that follow that you want to drop him and you will have the, the access, Alex Kim. Nightmare JP, OPTC Fanatic, Imperial OPTC, and now Sugar. This completes the holy five people of team building. I know there are other top team builders out there, but those are now my go-to five team builders. So go ahead and check those guys out. And once again, please do drop us some on Sugar's channel. Thank you very much to Sugar for providing this footage. And thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck when Invasion Guard comes out, guys. Not Invasion Guard, when Invasion Sengoku comes out, guys. I personally, if I can get a single copy of Invasion Sengoku, depending on how many skill ups are required, I will probably use my remaining four star skill up, guaranteed skill up unit book. So hopefully I have enough of those lying around. I believe I have 20. I'm sure that's going to be enough. But if it's not enough, I'm very disappointed in you, Bandai. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and bye bye.